Thanks for joining us. My name is Ibrahim Sani. Very recently, uh, we had an event with CGS CIMB where my colleague Loman Haris was there at the event discussing some of the items there as well. Uh, and during that process, we managed to get one uh, person on screen uh, to talk about some of the offerings that CGS CIMB is doing, particularly on Sharia product. Uh, we spoke with Rushdan Muhammad Nazir, the head of Sharia services at CGS CIMB. Um, and we wanted to ask him on on some of the uh, products uh, that CGSCIMB is doing when it comes to the existing Sharia Compliant Futures products uh, being introduced and why these products were introduced. It's, it's actually what uh, was planned since last year. So you are now basically seeing the phase two of our Sharia Compliant Futures uh, 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 initiative. Phase one is actually where we launch Sharia Compliant Futures for Bursa derivatives. So, three products, as uh, you know, you're probably aware of, uh, the FCPO, FEPO, and FKPO, all right? So, the three products only for Bursa. So, what we are launching today is actually global Sharia compliant futures. Uh, we have nine new products, and the products are listed in the Chicago Mercantile Exchange and also in uh, Singapore uh, Stock Exchange. So... Um, the nine products, as you say, is all global products and mainly uh, energy as well as agriculture products. All the products, again, similar to our launch last year for the Bursa SEF, all certified as Sharia compliant by our Sharia advisor. And uh, we further asked Rushtan in terms of the kind of volatility and season seasonality uh, that comes with this kind of a market environment. And how does this product, uh, I guess, account for such uh, volatility and seasonality? And uh, how does this apply to them managing or hedging this against commodity prices? Uh, I think it's two part to this question. I think the volatility to our clients that is what I think uh, uh, what these products use by our clients. These are we're talking about the refinery uh, players, uh, our plantation companies, right? They use this, uh, you know, volatility. Uh, they use the uh, the Sharia compliant uh, futures to hedge actually uh, their 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 risk, okay, for for the price uh, fluctuations. Uh, but uh, okay, so that's one segment of our uh, market, so to speak. The other segment is actually the retail investors. So what we're pro providing here is actually we are providing uh, liquidity, and also we are providing uh, uh, portfolio diversification for the clients uh, in a way that uh, they can use this to, of course, diversification means now they can invest not only in Malaysia. Uh, but also uh, global markets as well to benefit from the again the fluctuation of uh, you know either the, the commodities either you know crude oil or wheat corn and, and whatnot yep we also asked Rushdan in terms of their palm oil futures specifically given the volatile sentiment surrounding CPO on a global level we asked suggest CIMB and Rushdan on how they are managing their risks associated with these kind of products Okay, so this is actually how we as a company uh, manage the risk uh, and also how we take care of the clients. So I, th I think we have, we, we have a very close monitoring of all uh, clients' positions and we are very, very mindful. Of course, we are as, as much as possible, we are actually advocating for uh, responsible investing. So if you look at the futures, uh, of course, I think probably there are three main risks. Uh, one is maybe the capital, capital preservation in this case, right? Because your position, uh, you know, you can, uh, you know, lose, you know, significant amount of your capital within a short period of time. So one is uh, how do you protect your capital? So we have, you know, mechanism like stop loss and all that to cover for that. Uh, the second risk will be probably on the liquidity, the liquidity risk. So for this, it's actually uh, we... For retail investors, we actually restrict the trading uh, for the spot month because sometimes the liquidity is very shallow. Okay, and then finally, I think probably the third one is uh, leverage risk. 
because you know you put a certain uh, margin and then you can trade you know up to I don't know five ten times or whatever of, of that amount right so always we monitor your position uh, and then if you fall uh, you know within certain level then of course we what we call a, a margin top up so we will ask the clients to always maintain a reasonable amount uh, of, uh, of uh, deposit uh, so that you will take care of that uh, leverage uh, risk. So, yep. And there you have it. That was Rushdan Nazir, the head of Sharia Services at CGSCIMB. You can find out more on these interviews uh, on astroawani.com. We'll take a short break. When we come back, we'll discuss a little bit more on the show.